Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Well, last episode, our journey through the Temple of the Ancients Labyrinth brought us into contact with the Red Dragon, who nearly wiped us out with his crimson breath before we managed to rally and prevail. We then witnessed more Shinra troops falling foul of the raging environment as Aerith attempted to pray and gain the favor of the livestream, only for her actions separating our group into two as we continue with Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett. Talk a little about this. Wait, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, don't gotta tell me twice. I was gonna complain about the temple's overall construction to the manager. Sure, just run. That will sort things. No, they jinxed it. Got to think as well, if we do maybe like hit them with the back of our blade or the flat of our blade or something and knock them out and don't actually kill people, considering what happened, you know, the, 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 the rumors about this place, <laughs> knocking them out is also death, surely. <laughs> We're going as fast as we can. Okay, it's good. It's avalanche! Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> wow, they're uh, pretty good as a trio. <laughs> they really went off on one at the start there. Help! <laughs> Quite vicious in their attacks, to be fair. See if it just like. Yeah, I'll knock him down. They keep hurting Cloud. Sorry we're late. Better late than never. Still owe you both for Sector 7. <laughs> Could say the same for you. It's a shame we'll have to settle up later. Just have to pick this up next time. Get back here! Damn it! Oh, you're awake. 
Did it work? I really screwed up. And don't beat yourself up. First time and all that. Just gotta keep at it. Starting right now. We'll get through this, Aerith. Together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Can't give up now. Let's have a fight. I didn't know the uh, topic of what I've been saying recently would actually become very <laughs> frontline again. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't been killing people. Oh, and there we go. We're, we're, we're really slicing that guy up. Taking him into prom, as people say. Homecoming. Ha ha ha. We don't do that here. Mega potions. And I guess I don't need to actually rest because everyone should be fine. So, we're halfway through an ultimate. Let's keep on keeping on. What's this? <laughs> What's happening? Teach me how to be at one with the life stream, attuned to its flow. Harnessing the life stream, Aerith can stabilize the tumultuous terrain by gathering fragments of the life stream floating around the temple and channeling that energy into vessels of life. The more energy you collect, the more blessings Aerith will receive at the start of combat. What do you say? Vessels of life. Once you've accumulated enough energy, target a vessel of life with R, then rotate L to wave your staff and channel the life stream into the vessel, thus stabilizing the temple's terrain. It made me wiggle. And rotate L. <laughs> Wiggly wiggle. Is that not the vessel? Oh, that's the vessel. <laughs> Wee! Ooh, wiggly, wiggly. Circles, they're magic. Give me some more power. I, I prefer the combat bonuses, to be totally honest with you. There's another place, but we need energy first to be able to interact with that. Which is obviously forcing us into combat on the right side here. 
to obtain it. The crap are you? Blessings the live stream. As Aerith absorbs the live stream, she will begin combat with the following beneficial status effects. Faith, Faith, Regen, Faith, Regen, Mana Wall. Hence why we start with absolutely nothing, correct? Well, it's coming right for me. Go for it. Here I go. You're the one that needs to be assessing. Well. Half man, half beast creatures that live in the Temple of the Ancients, saved by the Cetra while suffering from a strange illness. They now guard the temple in order to repay their benefactors, inflicting enough damage to pressure them, but also cause them to counterattack with Lumen Surge. Pressuring them will extinguish their ring of fire. Wait, is that still a frog alive? Oh, there is as well. Glad we got you before that happened. Oh, I'm eating the person. That's what we do. We eat the people. Ooh, buffs. <laughs> Don't know if nice that we're just kind of killing things to take the live stream energy. Where did I grab that from? Oh, any little green blob. Absorbing the live stream. Hold triangle near floating fragments of live stream to absorb the energy. Note that you can also absorb energy emitted by crystals and fiends located near vessels of life. Oh, I skipped over this bit, did I? Okay, so we have... So much in the way of a live stream power. There doesn't seem to be any more collectible in the area. I do the wiggly. Need more power than that. But I was definitely supposed to go into that fight with at least a buff. <laughs> Was there more weekly I could do? Possibly. <laughs> there was definitely, or most likely, a second wiggly spot. Ah, I see, there's two torches. <laughs> Why well, me? Let me wiggle this. <laughs> Oh, 
out of energy though. Now, how do I get to that? Seemingly can't re wiggly. Might be that a later section builds a bit in an earlier section. Small possibility? They wouldn't put chests we simply couldn't obtain around the place, would they? Right? Right? You don't think anything bad will happen to them, do you? So long as Cloud can keep it together. Tifa's just gotta crack the whip a little. Tell him to snap out of it. Damn, everyone's being prophetic today. Also, that's the fact that they will... The things they will say about Cloud when Cloud's not in earshot, right? They all think he's a possible dangerous liability. <laughs> the Gambatine has been obtained. How good is that? You've got the Plumos Rod on currently. No extra slots. Uh, a little bit... Ah, a bit disappointing in your links. No, actually, you gain a link, now that I look at it. A superior staff made by the Cetra to help them protect the planet. Gives noble sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself to revive fallen allies, restore their HP, and remove detrimental status effects. Cost 2 ATP. Proficiency bonus, activate when an ally is in critical condition or unconscious. Hmm. Will I ever actually unlock the rest of this? Isn't that a question? <laughs> yeah, magic power up. Rent's incapacitation once per battle does not work against instant death attacks when HP is at 1. Is Reprieve supposed to be used with that so you can keep her alive or not? <laughs> May as well give it a go! <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I prefer ATP charge rate. Yes, by the weapons we're getting, etc. look way more technological than anything else. Two can play at that game, right? <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Tagging out. You got this. You insist. Yuffie, you you're just walking around. Do something. Seems harder to dodge with you than it does Cloud, to be fair. Maybe I should have just blocked. Wasn't even that much gain to what we had going on. Right then. Kind of break some rocks, do some praying. Some free buddies over here. No, I didn't want to do the wiggly. What if I do this wiggly? What does this wiggly do? I didn't have enough power for this wiggly. Maybe you're low on life stream or something? 
Praying near the Vessel of Life allows you to reabsorb. Wait, we could always do that? Okay. Could I steal your stuff? Wait, I can? I'm reallocating everything here. No, 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 no. Is there any ones that aren't full? Oh, I'm gonna need even more for this one. I think you might need more spiritual energy. So this is actually a puzzle area. So we're supposed to carry stuff forward from previous areas. Basically? No wonder it didn't give us the prompt earlier. So what I need to do is absorb this one. Now you can't absorb from the ones we've already filled up. Okay. So I can only go forward. Oh. I was wondering if I, like, sucked all out of that one, put it in the one below to get the bottom bit, then suck the other one, put it in there to get that going. Get the chest, then resuck it and go down. If that would be the goal. So that one is a no. This one seems quite easy to fill. I say, surely you can't lock yourself out of doing something here, right? A bigger whack of energy. Chest. An elixir. Not quite halfway. Oh, I didn't see you. You were kind of like nestled into everything. Just look. Oh, there's one there too. Just look like the area is quite tight with what it needs us to do. I think I'd be able to get this one here. You did not have enough live stream power. We are now stuck in the Temple of the Ancients forever. No, even a half wasn't enough. Gonna need a bit more of that planet power. We need more planet juice. So that's that one. And then you got that one, which... No, no, I don't want to look at the tutorial. I want to look at the map. That one doesn't require a lot of juice. I don't want to channel it into there. I want to go look at the 
place we've unlocked. I got ribbon though. I can't be got. Don't Yes, now we're building it up. Don't catch a cold. Someone looks good. That wasn't so bad. Once you got your ward out, it was quite easy. Suck up some frog essence. What is the point of this door? <laughs> I made this door irrelevant. Let's make the door relevant again. I can't let it just languish there, unused. Okay, so we still can't activate this one. <laughs> it's quite a lot of power needed for that one. I wonder if there's ever really going to be a time where I actually suck up all the stuff. <laughs> well, that looks scary. Doing something with void scent. Aerial creatures that dwell in the Temple of the Ancients of the Flowing Death. They forged a pact with Acetra whereby they agree to serve as staunch defenders of the temple in exchange for arcane enhancements to their abilities. Inflicting enough damage will pressure them. Hitting their eyes with physical attacks will deal a large amount of damage. When the HP gets low, however, they will cast Mana Shield, rendering physical attacks ineffective. I've been auto casted some debuff. Taking away. Let's get that ward out again. I still attack you though. Try using it. <laughs> Gotta go for it now. <laughs> Too bright? I that's over. Aerith's going in. Didn't even have that much like life in it. Well. Wait a second, I'm killing living things to be able to use them as batteries to power the things I need. Isn't Doesn't this remind you of something? <laughs> Taking from the planet to power my technology.
Guess we never said we weren't hypocrites. We grew up in the system after all. It's okay, we're the good guys. Oh, we... <laughs> like part of the thing in the game is that no one actually knows the facts. <laughs> I don't like the sound of cut follow on lizards. Can you take over for me? I'm your one stop club right What's this thing doing? The Kelmelzer? Toxify, large arthropods who hide among leaves and brush using their camouflaging exoskeletons, which both of which aren't around here. They weaken their prey with a powerful poison before going in for the kill. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them. Everyone here over there is trying to kill. Poor Aerith. <laughs> I don't mean Aerith's not going to work. That was an annoying ambush she did there. Oh my god, I dodged the thing with Aerith! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> we got steadfast block material free. Doesn't sound bad actually to have. Alright, we've reached three quarters of a bar for this area. Everyone's now equipped with a steadfast block. Oh no, they are all equipped with precision defenses. Don't worry, they're still trying to build it up. Maybe I should steadfast block more people as well. Doesn't even sound like a bad option. Except for being greedy about wanting a myriad of spells to be able to be used. So I imagine three quarters will allow me to activate this. I'll do the wiggly. My buffs! <laughs> oh, we joined up the whole area. Can I pray to get it back from here? I could definitely pray to get something back. There's a bit over here. Oh, I guess I wasn't able to access this before. 